The Barbell Strategy for Investors, a Guide with Examples In the realm of investment strategies, the Barbell Strategy stands out for its distinctive and dualistic approach. Essentially, it entails investing in two extreme ends of the risk spectrum while avoiding the middle ground. This strategy is based on the notion that mid-range investments are neither here nor there, potentially offering neither substantial safety nor exceptional returns. What is the Barbell Strategy? The name Barbell is derived from the resemblance of the strategy to a barbell weight, where the weights are heavy on both ends and there's a slender bar in the middle. In financial terms, one end of the barbell represents low-risk, low-return assets, and the other end represents high-risk, high-return assets. Why adopt the barbell strategy? The primary allure of the barbell strategy is its attempt to get the best of both worlds, capital preservation and growth. By allocating a significant portion to ultra-safe assets, investors hope to preserve capital. The allocation to high-risk assets offers the potential for above-average returns. How to implement the barbell strategy? Let's break it down step by step. Define your investment split. Decide the percentage you'd like to allocate to safe assets and high-risk assets. A common approach might be a 50-50th split, but this can vary based on individual risk tolerance. Select low-risk assets. These could include government bonds, fixed deposits, and other safe instruments. The primary goal here is capital preservation. Select high-risk assets. This could encompass stocks of startups, cryptocurrencies, junk bonds, or any other asset class known for volatility but with high potential returns. Avoid the middle ground. Stay away from medium-risk assets as the belief is that they might not offer sufficient rewards for the risks they pose. Periodic Review Regularly evaluate the performance of both ends of your barbell. Depending on the prevailing market conditions, rebalance your portfolio, if necessary. Examples of the Barbell Strategy in Action Equity and Bonds Barbell an investor allocates 50% of their portfolio to long-term government bonds, low-risk, and the remaining 50% to growth-oriented tech stocks, high-risk. They avoid blue-chip stocks or corporate bonds, which might be considered medium-risk. Real Estate and Startups An investor might allocate a significant portion of their portfolio to real estate in stable, mature markets, low-risk, while also investing in startup companies, high risk, avoiding medium sized established companies. Currency and cryptocurrency An investor holds a portion of their portfolio in stable currencies like the US dollar or the euro, low risk, and invests the other half in volatile cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or newer altcoins, high risk. Potential advantages Potential for high returns from the risky side of the portfolio. Capital preservation due to the safe assets. Diversification, which can mitigate some risks. Potential disadvantages. It can be challenging to determine what constitutes medium risk and thus what to avoid. The strategy can backfire if both the risky and safe investments perform poorly requires active management and understanding of various asset classes. The barbell strategy is an intriguing approach to portfolio management. While it's not suitable for everyone, those who understand its principles and are willing to take calculated risks might find it a valuable tool in their investment arsenal. Always consider your personal risk tolerance and financial situation before diving into any investment strategy and consult with a financial advisor when in doubt.